good afternoon to all of you in the last lecture we have seen how to design a binary tree from given pre order and in order traversal sequence today we are going to study about how to design a binary tree from given in order and post order traversal sequence we follow the following steps to design a binary tree from given in order and post order traversal sequence. to find the root node of the tree we refer the post order traversal sequence given to us as we know in post order traversal sequence the root always comes at the last so that it is very easy to find the root node of the tree from the last element of the post order sequence once we get the root node to find the left child and right child of the root node we have to refer in order traversal sequence given to us at last we repeat all the above steps till the last element is considered this is the three step algorithm that we use to design a binary tree from given in order and post order traversal sequence now we'll see the first example of designing a binary tree from given post order and in order traversal sequence consider this post order and in order traversal sequence is given to you now our first job is to find the root node of the tree to find the root node of the tree we are going to use the pre order traversal sequence as we know the root comes at the last in post order traversal sequence so from this given sequence we can easily find that e is the root node of the tree we pick the element e and draw that element e here in the step number one so this is our root node of this given tree after finding the root node our next job is to find the left child and right child of the root node to find the left child and right child of the root node we are going to use the in order sequence given to us now we have to check whether e is available into the in order sequence and where it is available now we found e here it means that this is the place of the given root node into the in order sequence all the elements which comes to the left hand side of the root node e will be placed into the left subtree whereas the elements which appears on the right hand side of the root node e will be placed into the right subtree we draw it into the step number two here after placing e to its proper place our next task is to find the next root from the given post order sequence in post order travel cell sequence to find the next root we go from right to left after e the next root node is and we take this n and we draw it into the uh, diagram but if you see in the second step n is already placed to its proper place because it does not have any left and right child remained into the diagram after n the next root from the post order sequence is x if you see in the step number two if i make x as the root node then the elements which appears on the left hand side of uh, root node x in pre orders uh, sorry in uh, in order sequence goes to the left subtree whereas the right element goes to the right subtree then we draw it after drawing that we have this picture okay now after x u is the next node uh, root node from the given post order sequence in step number three if you see u is already placed to its proper place because again it does not have left and right child remained after placing u to its proper place the next root node from the post order sequence is a we'll go to the third step and we'll check if we make a as the root node here then m will go to the left subtree whereas f will go to the right subtree after doing that we'll have a binary tree like this the next root is after a is f and if you see f is already placed to its proper place because there are no left and right child remaining to this side then the next root is m m is also drawn to its proper place so at last we have this binary tree from the given post order and in order travel so sequence to check whether the given uh, the design tree by u is correct or not to to check that we use we traverse this tree into the post order and in order fashion after traversing that if we get the same sequence as mentioned into the problem then we can say that the given tree is correct otherwise it is wrong thank you